um, in terms of heroes from, 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 from this whole uh, uh, Web 2.0 internet nationalism, uh, I'd just like to uh, switch quickly back to the computer to uh, show one uh, uh, hero that came out of, of this whole event. This is Lei Feng, of course, who was not a hero of this Web 2.0. He's a hero built up by Mao. Uh, to, to try and make people forget about the tr their troubles in the uh, uh, Great Leap Forward. But this time around, we have a new hero for China. This is uh, Second Right Brother. Second Right Brother is one of the guards who was put in charge of protecting the torch as it went around the world. And uh, as you uh, might imagine, uh, his, the, the name comes from his position in, in, the, uh, uh, in, in the guards. And uh, he has become the subject of, you know, marriage proposals, websites telling how handsome he is, uh, uh, people saying how wonderful he is, and, 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 and talking about how great uh, a job he's doing protecting and standing up for China, just like Jing Jing, except in more, more romantic associations with second right brother. Um, very quickly, uh, just to say a couple of things about w what's going on here. Why, why has the Internet become uh, this... Section, this place where uh, uh, the nationalism is, is brought together in such a strong way. Uh, one interesting factor is people don't trust the state media, those mainstream media. While the mainstream media might be dying in the West due to the rise of digital media, in China the mainstream media is still, still you know, censored, government controlled. So, so a survey done a couple of years ago by a public relations firm Edelman found that people trusted much more things that they read on the internet than things that they read in the mainstream media. Uh, this would give tremendous amounts more credibility to campaigns saying that the uh, uh, person running Carrefour had given money to the Free Tibet Foundation. Um, added to this trust for what's happening online is the people's relationship to the online world. Uh, in China, it's, it, we're now talking about the generation that has come out in the one child era of the one child policy fully. This is the, the digital natives, the digital generation. They have few cousins, they have uh, uh, no siblings, and there, there is a, a, a loneliness. There's a tremendous sense of loneliness and, and separateness, which gives things that happen online much more power, uh, uh, much more uh, uh, strength, and, and they uh, uh, really hold on to that much more. Uh, which gives rise to the way in which it can be used to channel passions and bring these passions around. Um, I think that's about all I can say. I'm going to say for these introductory remarks, uh, but I look forward to joining the discussion shortly via uh, internet, telephone, Skype. Thank you very much.